what is good ladies and gentlemen this is your boy chad hopefully the sun don't stop shining on me like that but yeah so in this video i was just kind of thinking of like you know i've been recently talking about my last few videos um you know we're basically about to enter a recession the economy is crashing stock markets crashing when bitcoin dropped from sixty thousand to twenty thousand actually 19 now um, and Ethereum dropped from 3,000 to just yesterday or the day before, it was at least eight or 900, which I think is gonna actually recede even more. Bitcoin may get close to 10,000. Um, Ethereum may get close to 500 or so. I was just thinking like, I'm gonna buy in, but what is a solution for anything that's happening? Like right now, you know, I feel like we're on the press precipice i think is the word for it of like we're finna we're already off the cliff like we've already jumped off the cliff as a society we're in free fall but i feel like we're finna free fall into just straight chaos like everything's gonna be out of whack and i think it'll be like this for like the remaining year once august to maybe november comes around but i was just thinking like what's a solution you know i can talk about everything that's going on i've talked about some solutions like stock up on food which you should have been stocking up by now we you know we can't keep being that dead horse especially with you know cattle getting killed in the sun um besides the cattle getting killed prices of groceries are high um just yesterday i went to the grocery store with my girl and we only got bread well let me not even i can't even remember everything we got but let me just tell you, it wasn't much food and we paid like 150, 170. And I was like, bro, we didn't even get anything to eat for real. Like we didn't even buy anything for real. Like how is this 170? So yeah, but another solution I was thinking about while I was just driving here was like having a reliable community or group of individuals you can go to. And when I say that, I don't mean it like, you know, just go to random people. I mean, like, go to like-minded individuals, people who, you know, are stocking, are stocking up just like you. People who have been trying to grow their own garden, grow their own fruits and vegetables. People who have been actually putting in the proactive work so that way they don't have to react to what's happening in society. Because when you think about it, you know, love thy neighbor. If you have good neighbors, quality people around you, you can always go to them because they're on the same page as you. They'll help you out. It won't be people trying to snake around and get you and, you know, steal what you have. Because times are coming up pretty soon where money is getting, money's drying up, right? You know, they pump money into the economy and everybody's pockets. And now it's like, people are like, we need more money. And when people don't have money or they can't take care of their basic necessities, what do they do? They usually end up stealing it killing people for it doing anything they can do and like i said the world economic for economic forum is basically leading society to what well, they've already come out and said it you know you will own nothing and be happy so you won't own stocks you won't own food you won't own a house rents up you won't own a car gas is up so you know you have to be prepared for these sort of things and having that good community around you you can go to people for if you need some milk, you need this, you need that. If you want to take your children out of, you know, public schools, which I highly, I told myself, first off, I want like four to five kids. And then on top of that, I'm not putting any in public school. People may laugh and say they'll get bullied because they won't know what's going on with society. I'd rather have my kids in homeschool than private school before public school, because at least I know what they're learning and if it's homeschooling, I can teach them real world applications, everything, you know? Um, but back to the point of like having a good community, like if you have a solid community, you guys will be able to protect yourselves. You guys will be able to protect from outside threats um, because if society gets to the point where people don't actually have basic necessities to life, they're having to rob, steal, kill people to get food, get water, get money, you're gonna to need to protect yourself, you and your household, especially if you have a community that's not, you know, an actual community, it's just individuals all out for each other, dog eat dog world, you're gonna actually need, you know, to protect yourself. 
So that was um, one solution I was thinking of. Another solution, you know, like I've been just saying, just preparing ahead of time. I don't, I don't know how to stress any much anymore. You know, just prepare for what's to come. You know, things were bad. You know, we we've been saying for a long time. We see the we see the bad stuff coming over the horizon, and you know, we prepared in the beginning, getting stuff, getting ready for the dark winter. Coming out of that, stuff started to chill out a little bit, and now it's picking up again. And you know, I think a lot of people think that the government is gonna come save us or do something. They're the ones who kind of got us in this circumstance instead of like, instead of taking inflation seriously, they just said, oh, it's transitory. Don't worry about it, it'll go on. And now the feds are having to come through and increase interest rates and everything. So it's just like, things are gonna continue getting worse. Like they're telling us, you know, people on TV, um, the economic forum, people, everybody, they're all telling us what's coming. They're saying things are finna get bad. You know, one thing, like they don't use buzzwords like there's finna be a food shortage. Gas is finna go to $8. They don't say stuff like that. They just say inflation's still going up. They're trying to figure out what to do with it. And you know, I do blame a lot of our politicians or the people in charge because they keep on trying to blame Putin and talk about wars and, and talk about, and we need to focus on stuff here. We need to bring more production to America, more energy independence to America. We need to bring everything back home so that way we're not getting stuff from others and wasting money getting it from them. Like when Trump had the policies of, because every country wants to use and abuse America, right? for their resources, for everything, for, you know, just basic stuff. Why don't we charge them taxes and tariffs so that way we can get money from them since they want to abuse us and we need them. Let's charge them taxes, tariffs, quotas, whatever you want to call it. So that way we can get that money to help pay off our debt. Because if we leave it up to our feds, they're just going to keep printing money that doesn't exist. And when you print money you don't have, the money that's already out there, is it worth anything? But yeah, man, those are just some solutions that I came up with. I, I didn't want to turn this into a rant rant video. I was just thinking of this when I was driving, like having a really strong community around you would really make a big difference. Like I said, those who are like-minded individuals, those who are not sleep, not just spending money frivolously. You know, like I've been saying, I've been preaching, save up your money, you know, pay off those credit cards because when interest rates and stuff start going up and things become more expensive, you won't be able to pay off your credit cards like that, you know, like you did before because bills are gonna be higher, food's gonna be higher, gas is gonna be higher. So try to stay off the credit cards. But anyways, man, let me know your thoughts down below um, of any solutions that you have personally um, that you think would be good to prepare people. So that way if people come across this video and they look in the comments, they'll see actually positive solutions and they make it take forth, you know, some effort to actually put forth some of those solutions. So yeah, man, it's been your boy Chad. I'm trying to get y'all prepared early. I'm out. Peace.